Hello, YouTube. This old PC has been shown in a previous video of mine. That's the case over there and some junk. And uh, I said that uh, I had to wait for a new sound card to come in. Well, it came in today. It's not the card that's on top of here. But this is uh, the original card. It calls itself a Digimate 3D Sound. And the, the chip itself says Crystal Clear. And the back of it says FSSC AL2 Crystal Clear 3D Sound Card. All different kind of kinds of things. And they all say absolutely nothing of what this card actually is. At first, uh, it looked like I couldn't get a drivers to install it. This card was actually dead, so we had to order a new card. So we did, but uh, this card actually turned out to be working just fine. It's an uh, it's Advanced Logic Systems ALS 100 Plus. It turned out, which has actually has OPL3 synthesis, which is pretty much the same as the Sound Blast 16 uses. So that was actually pretty cool. I actually got this thing to work pretty well. And I was like, well, we bought a new card for my girlfriend, so we could put that in here. And I had my old Pain 3 board that I said I tossed in the dumpster, but actually I figured that uh, that didn't quite happen. I found it underneath my bed. I also had ISA slots, or ISA slots, or whatever you want to call it. And I decided to put this thing in there. That didn't quite work out, so that was actually pretty pain in the ass. The MIDI... Uh, Synthesizer would work, but uh, regular wave audio would not. If I looped it through the onboard audio, after I re-enabled that, it sounded pretty awful and the MIDI wouldn't work anymore, so... That kind of, uh, neat little workaround didn't quite work out as well as I thought. Enough said, let's get to the new sound card, which is right over here. There's too much junk in my room to really work right now, so... I'm not quite sure if I can actually do everything on camera at the moment. It's very tightly packed, I must say. There we go. This, ladies and gentlemen, is a Creative CT4520, also known as the Creative Sound Blaster AWE64. Got this at a, quite a steal. It was only 8 euros. It's like Two euros for the effort and like the rest for shipping. But that's that's a steal, man. 16 bit ISA right there. Hopefully, this thing will actually work just fine in this PC as well. This is the PC it's supposed to go in. I'm also gonna test it out in my own PC. If it works in my PC, I'm allowed to keep it. And uh, that card is going back in there. If it does not, then uh, that board is fucked and I'm going to toss it anyway, so. Without further ado, let's get this card installed and boot up the system and see what happens. Shall we? Yeah, I can't really do this on camera, so, uh, or in a montage at least. So, or the assembly, I must say. So, uh, I'll just cut the video right here and uh, let's see if I can get the whole thing back together. Okay, now the whole thing is uh, reassembled. This is probably a good time to go over the specs of this little machine. We've got an Enlight Corporation power supply with an output of a whopping 230 watts. We've got a 50x CD drive here. This is a 30 gig Western Digital Caviar hard drive, a dead floppy drive. And this motherboard has the Intel 440BX chipset it is the Asus P2B-F, which supports Pentium 2s, Celerons, and Pentium 3s. It currently has a Pentium 3 550 MHz processor on it, which is a copper mine already. So that's not too old, really. And it has four SD RAM DIMM slots. It currently uh, has two DIMMs in there, two 256 modules for whopping 512 megabytes of RAM, it came with 640, but I was like, that's nah, a bit overkill for a system that's only going to run Windows 98 second edition. So I figured this would be plenty, and uh, she agreed with me. So, the Sound Blaster IWE64 down here has been installed. It features a MIDI output or joystick output, speaker output, line in, line out, and a microphone in. And of course, it's on the 16 bit ISA bus. 
So that's a really brief overview of what is in the system. And like I said, it is running Windows 98. So all there is to it is to boot the thing up. Press the power button. And let's get our attention to the screen. Get a little bit darker in here. Yes, it was detected properly by the plug and play in the BIOS. And now let me get it right here. It still thinks the events logic sound chip is in there. Yes, there we go. Okay, now it wants me to put in the Windows 98 second edition CD-ROM. Let's see where I get that. I need to get that out. Hold on, guys. Okay, I put in a Windows 98 CD-ROM. It's very clearly stating that it is an EWE64. And it's time for me to get the disk out of there again. If it would be so kind. Okay, boot from hard disk. It appears this CD drive has some problems opening a tray. Pretty much everything in this PC dates uh, back to 1998, so. Well, that's a clear sign of life. Oh, by the way, I forgot to mention the video card that's in there. You can see that ATI card down there. That's an ATI Rage 2 Plus, I believe. Yeah, it's a Rage 2 Plus PCI. Four megabytes of frame buffer. Works actually quite well. I uh, actually tried to run uh, Unreal Tournament Game of the Year Edition on there. You know, the first one. It ran like a charm, really. Just have to uh, lower the resolution. Okay, let's go to Device Manager. There we go. AWE64. Excellent. Let's see if I got some... Uh... Okay, I can't really pull out any games I see. I've got the Windows 95 Easter egg. Let's see how that sounds on this thing. First, make sure, of course, that this is the default MIDI device. Let's go to multimedia. MIDI. And we want the AWE MIDI synth here. Okay. Let's go. That's what I call some very good synthesis. Wow. This sounds a hell of a lot better than on that uh, cheesy Sound Blaster 16 FM synthesis. Of course it has a lot of character, but this is better. So much better. It's a very good MIDI track. Canyon sucks compared to Clouds, that's for sure. Of course you have to download it in order to use it. That's what I forgot to mention. Uh, once this is going back to my girlfriend, it actually uh, gets the uh, three-com Ethernet card back. And my camera refused to focus. Piece of shit. Thank you. So uh, it'll have access to internet once again. And now I'm just going to uh, 
go back to that case where I once again built my pin and plea system into. The uh, motherboard that I showed a couple days ago, the Asus P4P800E, I believe. Yeah, right there. It is down there at the moment. Until I can find a better place for it. But I honestly thought that I tossed out the pending three motherboard, but which I didn't. Okay, so this was the uh, conclusion of this old computer. Ouch, sorry about that. So this concludes the video on the old computer that belongs to my girlfriend, her retro pending three system, and uh, the installation of the Sun Blaster AWE64. I hope you've enjoyed this video, and I thank you all for watching. Have a good one, everybody.